right, hey, I'm Ray Phoenix. Uh, got a lot of different names, a lot of aliases. Also, Oz Kronk, Oz Kronk Tesla, um, Story Down Inchy Bonds, a lot of different names. But I, I generally go by Oz Kronk. And uh, let me find the, the, the slide. Here we go. So I made mine so it just plays out like a movie, so I don't have to worry about time. Wait for the uh, resolution to kick in for the 720 and the 1080. There we go. Great. <laughs> so important. So let's bring this back. Okay. So in uh, 1999, I invented a system of notation for DJ music. I'll call the turntables transcription methodology, and that is a system of uh, using calculus, trigonometry, uh, to uh, calculate the movements, the physical movements of uh, a turntable, so DJs. And you know, since then, it's been featured in a lot of different uh, outlets, uh, things like that. And, I've, and over the past 15, 16 years, I've been uh, revising it. And also, um, w as far as archiving, you know, the DJs are already scratching, and they're using you know archived uh, found material in the first place. But I'm um, what I've been doing is cataloging all the techniques, and, and I created the periodic matrix of scratches over like a thousand, uh, over 900 different scratches within that different uh, DJ techniques, and then I also created a fatalist matrix of like maybe over about 1400 different uh, possibilities that you can physical possibilities that you can do with uh, you know with the turntable with uh, without a crossfader and that's basically going into uh, just physics in general so I, I more recently come to call that aggregationism and, and uh, just kind of uh, bringing everything together and, and uh, making that its own art within itself and um, this is the uh, uh, TTM character ASCII set um, that's a, a, a TTF font that I'm uh, working on. The Kickstarter people already paid for it, so I gotta get that to them by the spring. And this is DJ Qbert, one of the best DJs in the world, teaching uh, by notation. DJs all over the world are teaching it. It's the only uh, new mu musical notation language that's actually being taught in schools. That was a, a place in uh, some guys in Hong Kong teaching it. And uh, there was also, I had a brief, uh, I'm gonna go really fast because I got a lot of information. Brief periodic in Scratch Magazine. This is actually a, a score of Rocket, James Brown, and right now this is uh, CSI. You can turn the music on. Graphs represent sounds, right? Let me bring it back. <laughs> oh, TTM. Yeah, they charge this. Okay, great. Listen to the message on Banner's voicemail. Yeah, they charge this stuff like music. They call it TTM. Turntable is transcription methodology. The graph represents. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of my newer inventions. Uh, it's a BPM. Uh, it's actually a, a BPM protractor, so you can tell the speed of a the vinyl from that. This is a, a, a project I'm working on with Kesh. Uh, you know, she's an American apparel designer. Um, a, a new movie that I'm working on. This is a Busy P hooked me up. 2009, I did a music video for him. Uh, I did a couple of music videos for Ed Banger Records. But uh, yeah, and that. But meanwhile, you know, I've done all this stuff with polymath, and they cast me as a felon in Law and Order. And then also, you know, Vice Magazine, you know, they cast me as, like, you know, as typically as black males, you know, associating people with sexuality and stuff like that. That was a museum that I actually started, the Williamsburg Museum of 21st Century Art in 2010, and that's Santa Gold playing in there. I had it, uh, one of the biggest screens in uh, in. Uh, in, in Williamsburg, in Brooklyn in general. This is Skater Girl, this is my first full length movie. This is uh, uh, Little Be the Bass Scout, we collaborated, um, and he got me to be really prolific. I actually got him to start releasing a lot of videos because he came through my studio in 2009, and, and uh, let me pause this right here. And so like in 2009, I was like, hey Little B, you should you know, release uh, a bunch of, drop a lot of videos, because at the time he, he had dropped over like maybe 5,000 MP3s, like 5,000 songs, he had over 100 MySpace pages, each with like five different uh, songs on it, so I was like, "Hey, you start dropping videos." He did a hundred videos in one in one year, in like 2010, and that's when you know he, things really took off for him. So then, you know, he's influenced me as well as getting into the, the meme art. But I, I, as far as meme art, I stay within the base kind of meme art, uh, memeism or whatever. But as far as screenshot is, and it's something I kind of developed myself. A lot of it started with uh, me trying to protect my my actual, uh, you know, my, my intellectual property from other people and just. Clear, clearing up things like that, uh, clearing up the truth. But, uh, but then I just you know, took it as art level. And this is my fine art stuff. Uh, you can, uh, if, you, if you guys are looking at to, to buy this, all this stuff is for sale. <laughs> so 
I'm going to talk fast like a, like an auction house person. And yeah, so this is a... Uh, it would be great, it's playing. So yeah, these are some just more, uh, some of my newer stuff that's, that's, uh, that, has, that has nothing to do with uh, lectures or, or education like that. It's more of, uh, you know, just more of the aesthetic based and color based. But most of my art is actually different lectures, like about over 100 different lectures, maybe over 200 different lectures, over 50 different, um, uh, over 2 million views on YouTube, maybe uh, seven different main YouTube sites. Uh, so I have a lot of different satellites, and they're all working together. And you know, my music's there. You know, I, I pretty much do everything. But this, you know, this is a, a on canvas version of the nine senses. I actually incorporated the five senses within that. So back, back to lectures, and this is the stuff that's uh, on my, um, I, I started a school called TTM Academy, and on that school I, I teach the history of notation because school erased everything. They don't teach me any of these things. There's Tibetan notations, there's all these things that came before Western uh, notation that they teach us in school, you know, the Eurocentric uh, philosophy, but this is an Egyptian notation that Teresa Sauer actually released in her book, uh, Notations 21, and, she was, and that book's like, if you try to buy it now, it's like $500, $800,000 on the internet. And also, all the information is hidden from everybody, you know. But I'm releasing all the all the hidden information. I've been releasing that to all my students. So you got the history of the holograms, got the MIA hologram, Tupac holograms. Before that was camera obscura, you know, all these things that I didn't learn in school. Cause I, I really feel like I didn't learn that much school in school. In the past, you know, 10 years of just being on the internet, I feel like I've learned more than I learned my whole schooling career. Um, you know, I graduated from NYU in 2001. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, this is a, a book, a compilation of all those, uh, all, all the different histories of everything before, uh, you know, really before the 20th century. And so yeah, these are uh, more, more of my diagrams as well, more of my lectures. Uh, the, we've got the digital Yoruba system, and, the, and these are the actual, the early Ogun scripts, you know, the, the, the African presence in uh, Ireland before, you know, or just the, the Nordic region before uh, Europeans colonizing like 4,500 years ago. And, and these are like different notations, so from around the world. So these are dance notations from the 1600s, um, you know, and even fencing notations. Um, so most of my most of my uh, screenshotism is, is uh, connected with lectures. And so they can see this is animation, history of animation, taking you back to uh, you know wall art, cave art, and people drawing you know the fourth dimension of a of a, of a tiger running. So then. Uh, then we get to modern notation. So my contemporaries, or not contemporaries, but I'll we'll get to contemporaries in a second. But this is Tesla, and you know we're moving into the 20th century. Uh, you know, out of that, and this is just a recent Tesla find, and this is some of uh, my mathematics uh, before that. That kind of you know in the same vein, that kind of similar to Zanekis and you know bridging architecture and, and notation and all these different types of you know there's hundreds of different types of notation systems. I mean, you go to school and all you learn is just you know just one. This is actually Kurt Vonnegut. Uh, you know, he actually did this as his uh, senior, I mean, his school dissertation, and they rejected it. And he made a, a, a system of notation of the of the person of a, a pr protagonist's uh, fortune over time, the change in fortune over time. So, like one of those graphs with Cinderella. This is uh, analyzing nodes uh, notation with with Jean Michel Basquiat. Uh, you know, different things like that. So it's always uh, re relating it back to notation and and the mathematics and the physics behind my my system. And you know, we got here Stockhausen. You know, he's got, you know, such, you know, such amazing work. And this is Ishii Yanagi. Uh, you can actually see some of his stuff at, uh, at MoMA right now, actually. They got one, hit, like, hidden in the DJ section. One of those is in there. But the funny thing is, is you know, Pinterest, all these things, I, I find so much more information, you know, just out there in the net and through social media than anywhere else in any library. Uh, this is, you know, one of my newer drawings. But this is just uh, me presenting people uh, and teaching them about what FM synthesis is and what FM means. This is, you know, so these are, yeah, I go into mathematic things, I, I can go anywhere with, with screenshots and where it's going from fine art all the way to pure uh, lecturism. But all this is, is kind of taking, uh, taking the, the uh, subjectivity out of the art world because most, for me, it's like, I've kind of uh, drawn a line. This is actually uh, Maria Chavez, she's a great uh, turntablist doing a, a just deconstruction and this is a, uh, DJ Swamp doing pyrotechnics, and I've done you know lectures on this. So I do lectures on my contemporaries, people from way back, from from anywhere in history, and then also uh, going back to the present. And and uh, screenshot is a great way to be able to expose people. Like this is a track. He tried to actually appropriate my system. He actually tried to steal it in, in like 2000, and but I exposed him. And, you know, he goes to his press release. He still tells magazines, you know, that he invented it. But you know, this is some kid. He got a grant for 
copy my exact designs, you know, and I, I sent him a cease and this, they took all this stuff down. So I'm on legal team, I'm also, you know, pro state litigant, and uh, yeah, I've had to become everything. And this is, you can also use it for correction. This is me correcting a kid in France. Uh, some of the names, and this is Mac Lamore stealing my style. Like, I'm wearing the exact same exact uh, uh, sweatshirt that I got from the thrift shop. I might have remembered that, but I don't remember. But yeah, so in closing, I think the people, uh, I think just as with any history, in relation to people own, you know, digital social memory, and we all own it, um, but I feel like, you know, of course, designers, they own their own designs, but, you know, the, the people in general uh, so, still have the rights to it. And also, uh, uh, the last thing I'm gonna say is, yeah, Richard Prince. Uh, you might not even notice, you know, Richard Prince, I got a couple of samples of his stuff within that, uh, the, the pop screenshot section that you saw. There's some little bits of, of his stuff that's actually in there. I was actually doing my stuff before but before Richard Prince. And I and the funny thing is that uh, uh, Mia's not here, but I actually was like, hey, could you uh, holler at uh, the Guggenheim Gallery about uh, the stuff that I'm doing? And she's like, okay, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll holler at them. And then she didn't holler at them. And then like a month later, they're like, oh, Richard Prince, but I got the, I got the screenshot of the actual email stuff. <laughs> All right, so I'll catch y'all later. All right, so